Hi, I'm David. And I'm Rachel. And welcome to Leisure Bit. And today we're coming to you from Maryport Marina in Cumbria. So let's go and take a look around. We stay at Maryport Marina Caravan Park, take a visit to the aquarium where there's fascinating fish and sea life. Have a quick wander around the town of Maryport, grab a coffee, look round the lifeboat station and we went to the lifeboat inn for an evening meal and a couple of drinks. So let's get cracking with our journey. After leaving Stanix Park we then headed down the coast and we stopped off at Allenby briefly as we were a little bit early to head into the Maryport Marina campsite. The weather was atrocious. We parked in this car park and there was no charge for staying during the day. Right, let's get on our way now to Maryport. We're heading through Maryport now on the way to the campsite. After we've turned off here, we're now approaching the marina. And we take a left here to turn into the marina. You check in here and then you're given a fob so that you can get in and out via the barriers. And they also make sure they've got the registration collected because there's an ANPR camera on the car park. That's to make sure there's no penalty notice issued. Let's make our way to our pitch now. You use the fob you've been issued to open up the barrier. There's two sections to the campsite. You can see the first section on the right here. We're in the second section. We'd been allocated pitch number 20, which was at the top of the site. And we're just passing the facilities block on the right hand side there. As you can see, as well as touring pitches, there's also a few pods. As you've probably already noticed, we weren't gifted with the weather on this particular trip and pretty much throughout the whole time we were there it was either wet or windy so you don't really see things at the best. There was a 16 amp electrical hookup and a water point next to our pitch. There's a nice view of the harbour from this end of the campsite. There were some lovely boats in the marina. This gives you a bit of perspective of the campsite. It's split into two sections. This is the main section down to the facilities block there. And here's the facilities block. To the left hand side there's rubbish and recycling. There's also a gate out of the site onto a nice green area where you could walk your dog. There was a washing machine and tumble dryer and a sink. The toilets and shower facilities were unisex and there was wash basins and hand dryers as well. Worth noting you needed to use your fob to get into the facilities as well as for opening the barriers. So next headed for a little bit of an explore. So here we are at Maryport Marina on a wet Tuesday afternoon. The sculpture near the Sea Life Centre depicts Mary Port's heritage. First thing I came across was the Lake District Coast Aquarium, which wasn't far from the campsite. The admission price was £10 for an adult at the time of visiting, and in my opinion it was well worth it. So let's take a look around. So I've got out the rain for a bit and come into the Lake District Coast Aquarium 
of Mary Pass. After you've finished looking around the aquarium, you come out in the cafe and gift shop. There's also a mini golf outside. After a look around the aquarium, then headed into the centre of Maryport. I crossed over the bridge here to head to the town centre. Take a look back there, see where we've just come from. And then headed up the hill. Maryport had a range of shops and cafes and pubs. After a wander round, headed back to Harbourside Campsite. Past the lifeboat in and the Maritime Museum which is currently closed. When you're heading back over the bridge on the left hand side there's a nice statue that's been built. Just make our way back round now. And we're just passing the coastal aquarium that we visited earlier. And I think I've spotted a shortcut back to the campsite over the bridge. We've come across a little coffee shop here. The Wharf. Quite fancy a coffee, let's call in. Delicious and only a couple of minutes walk from the campsite. Here we are back at the harbour and also back at the campsite. We thought we'd treat ourselves to an evening meal out, since it had been such a miserable day weather-wise, so we headed back into Maryport. We decided to go to the lifeboat inn, and there was a lovely roaring fire going and it was lovely and warm inside. It was a nice and cosy pub, 
and the drinks were nice, and the food was too. After we'd had our evening meal, we wandered back to the campsite, which wasn't too far away when you take this shortcut over the bridge. The coffee shop had now shut, unfortunately, and we'd passed the lifeboat station, and the next morning went and had a quick look around it. You can go and have a look around for free. Some pretty impressive machinery and engineering, which could save somebody's life. After visiting the lifeboat station, then headed back to the campsite. Worth noting there's also a cafe in the marina building. It was then time to go and head to our next destination. After you'd opened the barrier to go out, you dropped your fob into the box. So Rachel, what did you think of Maryport Marina and Harbourside Caravan Park? It was an okay site. It was quite different in the fact that it was right on the harbour side and didn't have a fence around it like normal sites. The facilities were good, very clean. We saw a lovely man in one of the pubs who had red fox just like rocks um, and he told us about them regenerating the area which is always really good to hear. Unfortunately the weather was absolutely atrocious for the full time but it was okay. What about you? So I yeah, completely agree with everything you said. I think we got about half an hour respite from the rain uh, for a little bit which was brilliant of course uh, and I imagine the site would look completely different to what you've seen there if it was a bright sunny day and the view out to the, across the um, marina and out to sea via the harbour would be magnificent but we weren't fortunate on this time but I'm sure it is absolutely beautiful then. The only um, point to note was uh, I got disturbed overnight uh, when we were there because I saw must have been awake and just saw kind of like it looked like a lighthouse sweeping past uh, and I wondered if they'd turned the lighthouse on but um, it didn't uh, seem to be so I looked out and it was pouring down with rain at the time and there was uh, like a, a van outside I thought it might have been an ambulance at first but it looked like one of those um, welfare vans and uh, three people got out and had a look around the site with torches just just kept an eye on it I thought it was maybe a security check or something overnight but I mentioned it to the site and they said uh, it wasn't anything to do with them so and they were going to check the CCTV but I've no idea what they would be doing if you guys got any idea it just seemed a bit of a strange one people going around with uh, torches anyway they went back in the van and uh, toddled off um, but uh, I didn't sleep so well after that because you, you were just kind of wondering what's going on. And before anyone asks, no I didn't film it because I was seeing what was going on. It was bucketing down with rain and the whole thing was over and done within five minutes. I wasn't uh, kind of set up to film it, I was in bed at the time. <laughs> but uh, there we go, strange one, but uh, enjoyed the stay over best we could despite the weather. Thank you for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. And we'll catch you on the next one. Bye. Bye.